In this tutorial we're going to take a walk through the image gallery and slider plugin and show you just what you can do um, with this plugin to present your photographs. Um, it can be a great way of showcasing your work um, or perhaps uh, perhaps you run a hotel, bed and breakfast, it's a great way of showing off pictures of um, your hotel or bed and breakfast place. Whatever you want um, to show on your website through photographs, um, the image gallery and slider plugin is a great way to help you present that. So before we get into the nitty gritty of actually creating um, a gallery or a slider, let's just take a look at some of the things you can create with this plugin. So here's one um, I've already created and I've created a couple of different samples so you can see the kind of different um, galleries that we can create with this one single plugin. Now these are all the different galleries we can create or slideshows and I'll take you quickly through each one of these in turn. So we start at the top. This is just a very basic way of presenting photographs in a thumbnail presentation and the user can click on any of these pictures and it will open up a light box window which then allows the user to see the photographs or the pictures in more detail. And you can set, that, set this so you can have um, your smaller kind of images shown at the top or the bottom. Uh, you can fix it so um, the pictures change on their own so they're automatically rotating through a slideshow on their own or you can fix it so only the user can do it. Either way um, I can still change which pictures I look at by simply clicking on any of the photographs in that slide reel. We can also link to things like our social media pages so if we wanted to um, or allow people to sort of share that on social media or link to our social media, we can do that. We close that window. So that's one of the types of galleries that we can create. We can also create something very similar called masonry. It's very similar to the thumbnails and the only difference being the image sizes, sizes as you've probably seen are all slightly different so it's a bit more of an abstract way of presenting uh, your pictures. You can also create things like film uh, slideshows with a film strip. So this is similar to sort of a light box we saw earlier, but this is actually embedded as part of the page itself. And again, you can choose whether to have your um, slide reel of pictures shown at the bottom or the top. You can set it so it rotates independently, so it's currently going through the pictures all on its own. Or you can fix it so only the user can, can change the pictures. You can also have a full um, slideshow without a film strip. So this section here is your film strip of all the pictures that you want in your gallery. But you can have it if you just want to have full screen. You can you can have a slideshow without a film strip. And you can also have something similar, which is kind of an image browser. So there's a whole different range of different galleries that we can create very easily using this plugin. So let's take a look at actually how we're going to create one of these galleries. So I'm building a gallery uh, on this page. Uh, I've currently got nothing uh, in the content of the page itself and I'm going to want to create a gallery here. So let's go through the process of actually doing that. So this is a page on which I want to add my gallery but before we can go about adding a gallery we need to install the plugin first. So now to do that we need to go to the client area of selfie websites and locate the um, plugin section and within that section uh, locate the image gallery slider plugin and that's the plugin we're going to be using now click the more info button to go through to that plugin page and we want to click the blue download button to download this plugin and that's going to download a zip file now the zip file is the plugin we don't need to do anything at this stage we don't need to unzip it or open it we can simply ignore that for now and what we're going to do is go back to our website and you'll need to be logged in as administrator for this so we're going to go to the back end of our website and on the left hand toolbar we need to go to the plugins section so click on the plugins item and we're going to add a new plugin so click the add new button and now we want to upload a plugin so click the link that says upload and we can now choose a file. So we're going to click that button there to choose the file which we want to upload. And in this case it's going to be the zip file which we just downloaded. 
So a window will open that looks something like this. You need to locate the download section on the left hand side and that will give you a list of all your um, download history. And that, the zip file we've just downloaded is the photo gallery underscore WordPress. That's the um, plugin that we want to install. So double click that to select that. And now we need to click the install now button to install that plugin. So click that button there. And on the bottom left of the screen, it will tell you that the plugin is up uploading, and that gives you an indication of how long it's going to take. It shouldn't take more than a minute or two. And once it's um, uploaded, uh, you should get a message that says something like this I'm installing a plugin, and the plugin has been installed successfully. So we now want to activate that plugin, so click that link there to activate it. And once activated, if we scroll down a little bit further, what you'll notice is on the left hand toolbar a new item has appeared that says Photo Gallery. Now that is our plugin that we've just installed. So let's click on that link there and let's go about the process of actually creating our gallery. So we're now within our Photo Gallery plugin and if we just have a look just quickly back at the plugin itself, you'll notice there's a whole range of different options uh, to choose from in here. Now don't worry about that, um, the only one we're going to be concerned with at this stage is Add Galleries and Images and the Generate Shortcode. They're the only two things you need to worry about at this stage. Um, so in this screen here this will give you um, this table here shows you all the galleries you've created and you can create as many galleries as you like so you can create different galleries for different purposes so perhaps you want to create a gallery to showcase some of your latest work you could create three or four different galleries and show them all on three or four different pages or you could show them all on the same page it's completely up to you so rather than including say 50 images in one gallery you could break that down to be 10 images over five, ga uh, five galleries it's completely up to you how you want to do it so to create a new gallery we're going to create this add new button we'll click that add new button and that's going to take us into the actual gallery itself now first of all we need to give it a name uh, it doesn't matter what you call it this is just for your reference so something that you're going to recognize it by so i'm going to call this um let's just call this generic images um, slug you don't need to worry about this stage that's just um, relates to the URL and the description you don't need to worry about for the purposes of this we just need to give it a name and we're now going to start add, um, adding some images to our gallery so typically a gallery will have any number of images included within it so the next stage now is to add the, those images to the gallery now if you've already seen the videos about um, creating pages and when you are uploading images to uh, pages, they get uploaded to your media library. Now this is completely separate than your media library, so if you've already uploaded images to your website via your media library, you'll need to upload them again for purposes of this plugin. So this does not link to your media gallery, uh, sorry, your media library, you'll need to upload the files from scratch if you've already uploaded them to your website. Okay, so to upload some files, click the Upload Files button and that will take you to a window where you can then choose the files that you want to upload. So we're going to click that button there and that's going to take us again to a, a window where we can browse for the images we want to use. Now I'm going to choose some generic images that I've got ready to use. So I'm just going to choose a couple of these and you can upload a number of images at the same time so don't feel you've just got to upload one at a time if you want to upload a number you can either a number of images you can either hold down the shift key and that will select all images within a section so if I now click this um, image here it's going to select all of these images or all the way right, right down to there However, you may only want to select a couple of images from here, so rather than doing it independently, a nice little trick is just to hold down the control button on your keyboard. So I'm going to select this image, hold down the control key, and I'm also going to click this image. And let's choose this image of a supercar as well. My finger is still holding down the control key. And let's choose this one of this person walking. So that's a way I can select a number of images all at once. Now you can now let go of the control key because I've selected all the images I want to choose. And we just need to click open and that's going to 
basically add those images to our um, to our gallery window. Now once I've uploaded, these are the images we have available to us to add to our gallery. So we haven't yet added them to our gallery. All we've done is added them to our kind of overriding library. And we now need to choose which ones we want to add to our gallery. So let's just again left click on that one, hold down the control key on my keyboard. I'm going to choose um, this one of a big wheel, this one of the car, and this one of the trainers. Uh, and now we're going to click this button here to add those selected images to our gallery. Great, so we've now added some images to our gallery. If we scroll down here we can preview all of those images we have in our gallery. Now before we go any further we just need to save that. So click the button at the top of the page which says save to save our gallery. That's going to save those changes. And here's my gallery here, the one we've just created, generic images. So that's our gallery created, but we now need to put it on a page. So, if we go back to um, our gallery page for a moment, Let's go to the gallery page. Let's go to the edit, uh, the editor screen. Um, and currently, we don't have anything in the editor screen. That's because it's a blank page. We haven't added that code yet. So, in order to create um, our gallery and put it on the page, what we're going to do is we're now going to go down within the photo gallery plugin. We're now going to choose the generate short code. So, click on the link for generate short code. Now this is where the magic happens, so this is where you can define how you want your gallery to be presented. So I just go back to the website I showed you originally. Scroll to the top. You see this is the, thum uh, the thumbnails um, gallery, which relates to this one here. So this is a thumbnails option. If we scroll down a bit further, this is the masonry option. So this is the masonry option here. If we go back, here's our slideshow, here's a slideshow. Now this is also a slideshow, but we've changed the settings slightly to um, take out the film strip. So a, a range of different settings you can configure in each of the galleries that you create, and we're going to take a look at that in a minute. And then lastly, here's the image browser that we had on this website. Uh, which is this gallery here. Okay, so once you had a little think about a type of gallery that you want, um, I think we're going to go for um, a slideshow gallery. You'll notice that as you flick between the different galleries, the, diff the options underneath change depending on the type of gallery you choose, because the options you have available will be specific to that type of gallery design. So within Slideshow, we have a couple of different themes. Now essentially the, th the theme of the Slideshow um, just defines how it looks. Um, so we'll take a look at the sort of difference between the two in a second, just so you can see how it differs. So let's choose theme one, theme 1 for now. Now Gallery, this is where you choose your gallery. So you may have already created, for example, five different galleries. This is where you need to choose the gallery which you want to uh, kind of create at this stage. So we're going to choose generic images, that's the gallery we just created. We want to use that gallery for the purpose of this. So we're going to click on that option there. Let me scroll down a little bit further. But as you can see there's a whole range of different options that you can choose. So feel free to have a little play with all of these, see what they all do. Um, we're just going to cover a couple of other basic things. Uh, enable autoplay. That will autoplay your slideshow. So We've got a slideshow here, this is what we've chosen. If it's set to no, what that means is it won't play on its own. So the user will have to actually flick between the different photos. Whereas if we choose yes, the photos will 
um, change on their own and we can define how quickly that happens using the time interval so currently it's set to five seconds and that's normally a pretty good sort of time between the two one or two seconds is pretty quick um, and anything more than sort of six or seven seconds um, it, chances are your visitors are going to start getting bored pretty quickly so five is about right you can choose to enable shuffle if you like which basically shuffles the, imi uh, the order in which the um, pictures um, are shown in by default it will show the images in the order that you uploaded them uh, control buttons allow the user to uh, move left and right within the slideshow so feel free to toggle those and have a look at the difference between the two here's where we can enable the slideshow film strip now if you remember from the previous website we had a look at here's the slideshow with the film strip and here's a slideshow without the film strip now that's where the theme comes in because the theme for this one theme one the um, film strip will be at the top and theme two the film strip will be at the bottom so we're going to choose um, we're going to choose yes and leave that slideshow film strip in but I think let's choose theme two and you can define the height of a film strip if you wish normally it's, it will be set to a default um, a, um, a default pixel size um, if all else fails I suggest you just leave it as that that's a pretty good size and that's what um, that's how I've left it on this one here let's go back a second there's a couple of other different options you can choose if you wish to but at a basic level um, we've now pretty much got our slideshow ready and what we need to do now is if we scroll a bit further down there's a button here that says generate now that is going to generate the code we need as you can see it's now generated the code but we need and we're going to pop that into our page so all we need to do is simply highlight that so you can you can either hold down the left mouse button and drag and highlight the whole lot or a quick way of doing it is just to put your cursor anywhere in this box hold down the control key on your keyboard and press the A button and that will highlight everything in that section and we can now right click and choose copy that's going to copy all of that code so if we now go back to our gallery page itself what we're going to do is simply pop the cursor in there right click and paste and that's pasted the code in now it doesn't look like much at the minute if we update that and then if we go to view that page it's dropped the slideshow in and we can then make changes to that if we want to so we can go back to um, the actual settings page and if we want to make any changes to that we can so um, we could say actually if we go back a second perhaps I don't want the film strip underneath um, let's take that off so let's go back to the configuration settings we can um, take that off so if we choose no then don't forget that if you do make any changes you will need to regenerate the code so you make any changes you need to and then click generate to regenerate the new code again copy all of that go back to our page we need to go back into the editor uh, window and we just need to overwrite that so we can simply um, just delete that and paste in the new code update that and if we now go to view that page uh, the slideshow will have changed and it will have taken away the film strip so you can play with that as much as you like to configure the gallery or the slideshow in exactly the format that you want it in so that is how we can create a very simple gallery uh, or slideshow and um, we're now going to take a look at how to create some of the other um, different gallery types so we've just seen how we can create a really nice gallery on our website but let's take a look at some of the other gallery types that we can also create so we go back to our um, configuration settings and don't forget we're, we're within this section here the generate shortcode section now let's choose um, let's choose thumbnails this time and again we've got a couple of different themes we can choose between we're going to choose theme one for now um, and all that I'll do is 
that will just change the design slightly. Um, so with the thumbnails, what it does is when you hover over the thumbnail image, theme one will just make the images appear slightly larger when you hover over them. Whereas theme two actually wiggles the um, the image slightly. So when someone hovers o hovers over the image, it just kind of jiggles about a little bit. So um, it's up to you which which one you want to choose. I'm going to stick with theme one just to keep it simple. And again, we've got the choice of gallery. So if you've got a number of galleries created, which one do you want to um, create the code for in this case? So we're going to stick with the same one we created earlier, the generic images. We've got the option to sort by, so we can sort the ordering of the thumbnails depending on perhaps the title, A to Z, or the date, um, or the, the type of file it is. Um, I'm just going to leave that as the default setting. Um, again, a huge range of options you've got to play with here. Um, I'm just going to focus on the key ones that we need to know just to get this set up and running. Um, we can change the thumbnail size if you wish to do that, so a width and a height. You can choose to have a full width light box, so when someone clicks uh, on one of the thumbnails, do you want it to open a, a light box that takes up the whole screen, or do you want a light box that just takes up a part of the screen? So I'm going to leave that as no, and we'll take a look at what that does in a, in a moment or two. You've got different um, effects, so a light box effect is when someone scrolls to the next image within the light box. And if you remember, a light box is, if we go back to this screen here, if someone clicks on a, a thumbnail, this is the light box here. So if someone clicks to the next image, what transition do you want? So you'll notice there's a slight fade between each image. So as I click between the images, you can see one fade out and one fades in. And that is the fade option we have here. But you can change that. So if you want it to slide out, um, or perhaps do a, a blind, um, kind of Venetian blind type effect, you can choose that. A whole range of different effects to have a play with. So feel free to, to have a little play of all the different options you've got available there. You've got the option to add things like allowing people to add comments on your gallery. You can add a Facebook button and Twitter button, so you can encourage people to share your images on your gallery if you wish to do that. Um, but at a basic level, that's pretty much everything I wanted to create for this purpose. Don't forget that when you want to then um, create this type of gallery, you need to generate the code again. So let's click that button there to generate the code. And again, I'm just going to highlight all of that text, copy that. Let's go back to our gallery page. Let's go to edit, uh, back to the editor screen. And let's just overwrite the current gallery we've created. And we're just going to paste in the new code, update that. And if we now take a look at that page, you can see it's created my, my images in really nice, kind of ordered thumbnail um, layout. And if I click on one of these images, it will open up the light box that we were talking about a second ago. As you can see, I've got a film strip here. Um, off the top of my head, I, doesn't, I don't think we set it to autoplay, and it doesn't seem to be autoplaying, so the user would have to click between the different images. And as we saw on the the kind of example website, we've got the links here to to share your gallery on social media as well. So we just close that window. So that's another way you can uh, display images on your website in a really nice layout. So in summary, the um, the image slider and gallery plugin is a really great way to present. Um, images on your website, whether it's for showcasing your work or perhaps giving your visitors um, or clients uh, some pictures of um, what you do, uh, perhaps your property, anything like that, using, the, um, using this plugin is a really great way to show off your images on your website.